Okay, this one's for the passive home builder. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is I've had three questions in the last week about how do we do about go about creating off stud battens on top of our rafters so that we can get airflow between the battens and the rafter. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay, so I'm going to explain to you what that means first for the, the builders like me that had, hadn't built like this before. Is essentially the belief is that when you actually uh, have an airflow between your battens and a membrane between uh, those battens and or a packer between your rafters, you actually cool the roof down without having air leakage through the roof. And, it, and I guess it makes sense. And now I'm going to tell you how to go about uh, drawing that. So as you can see here, I've just got a, a sloping skillion roof there and and I just created some, some rafters and that's right click uh, create rafters and then I actually did the same thing again on top of the, the the face so that I could create that and therefore I have this end solution now I'm going to show you how to do it so I'm going to select this face here I'm going to go right click and I'm going to go roof framing and basically when I go create roof framing I'm going to go through and I'm going to choose my rafter spacing and obviously being a, a sloping roof I don't need a crowned in rafter uh, and I'm not really concerned about underpillings, but I do need battens and so on. But for the first rafters, I'm going to go without battens, and I'm going to go under the face. So I've got here 9035 selected as my uh, rafter material, and I'll make 9035 for my uh, my hip ridge, which is not really applicable in a skewing, but. For uh, those uh, imperially challenged, uh, that would also mean uh, inch and a half by four. Okay, now you'll notice I actually made a bit of a mistake there because I actually allowed for a batten thickness here or a sheathing thickness, right? So I could just simply change that back to zero and do it, or I could just go here and go move and put it up. It's parametric, so it will redraw. You can change your rafter size at any stage. Now while I'm still in the tool, I'm going to select that face again and now I'm going to go above face and I'm going to change my rafter material to actually my packet material. So I'm going to click on my drop down and these are materials that I created myself. There we go. And I'm going to do the same with my uh, ridge hip material. And I need to make sure that I actually turn my battens on, right? So include battens and purlins. If you're ever not sure, just hover over here and basically it'll tell you a bit more about these tools. And now if I go submit, you'll notice that now I have my rafter under, my membrane in between, and a packer and my batten so that I can actually see through my roof there. Right, that is look pretty straightforward because it's a straightforward roof, but it's not actually that hard to do it on a more complicated roof. All I'm doing is I'm continue to click until I got all faces red, and I'm just going to uh, dot a blue and I go submit. It's going to take a second because it's going to figure out all the hips, valleys, and everything like that. Basically, I now did my packer and my batten, but I, I, at the same time, I'm going to go below face, change my rafter sizes back to 9035, or whatever size you want to choose. So with my hips, I'll make them a larger hip here. Uh, actually, I don't even want battens in this particular instance, so I'm going to turn those off. Uh, where am I? 9035, I'm going to go back up to here, and I'm going to turn them off and go submit. Now I'm going to do a complicated roof with all of the quantities very, very quickly, the way that I actually want it to be done. All right? Let's just delete that roof so we can have a look. Uh, I'll just hide it actually, hide. Right, and as you can see, I actually forgot to turn my batten hide off, which I should have done here, which I can do now so I can select it. Batten hide is zero. Go submit. And it's going to go and recreate and then put it up there. And now I actually let's get rid of that gutter so we can see it. Right. Uh, that's all the way around the roof, guys. I probably should have turned on a crowned in rafter if I wanted to there, but you can see what happened. Turn that transparent view off. All right. Hope it helps you out, guys. It'll save you a lot of time. Cheers. If you've got any questions, ask them below. Uh, if you like the video, push like. If you didn't, just tell us why.